Thank you, Mr President. My question is to the Minister for the National Disability Insurance Scheme, Senator Reynolds. Can the Minister advise the Senate why the national plan agreed by National Cabinet is critical to charting our way back from the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly for our most vulnerable Australians? The Minister for the National Disability Insurance Scheme, Senator Reynolds. Thank you very much, Mr President. And I'd like to thank Senator Hughes for her question and for her tireless advocacy uh, in this area. Thank you. Uh, all First Ministers through the National Cabinet have agreed in principle to our national plan to chart our path out of COVID-19 and the targets we need to reach to get there. It is built on a very clear premise. If you get vaccinated, we can make lockdowns, border closures and restrictions a thing of the past. Millions of Australians are playing their part to get to the next step on this pathway to living with the virus. There is no better example than that than our wonderful disability support workers who are working so hard uh, throughout this pandemic to protect those they care for. And uh, as a measure of that, since early July, more than 60,000, that's 60,000 uh, disability workers have voluntarily been vaccinated. And can I thank each and every one of them for putting themselves forward to receive the vaccination. A total of 95,500, or just under 60 per cent, of uh, disability workers have now received a first dose, and 40 per cent have received two doses. And I would encourage all disability workers to step forward to protect themselves and also to protect those that they support and they care for. So, on behalf of all Australians, and I'm sure all in this chamber, I thank and extend my appreciation to our wonderful disability care and support workers who are doing such a magnificent job in a very difficult time. Senator Hughes, a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. Minister, how has Australia compared to other nations, such as the United Kingdom, in protecting people with disability from COVID-19? Senator Reynolds. Well, thank you very much, and again, thank you very much, uh, Senator Hughes, for that. And I note her comments in the chamber yesterday on this very subject, which is close uh, to her heart. Australia's experience in relation to COVID-19 pandemic has varied significantly to the rest of the world, including, as Senator Hughes asked, the United King Kingdom. And can I say I find it in almost unbelievably irresponsible to unnecessarily alarm Australians with disabilities and those who love them with alarmist and totally and utterly irrelevant Order. assumptions and international comparisons. The facts matter in this, and they matter a great deal. Those opposite are fond of quoting the UK statistics, so let's have a look at the facts. To date, the UK has reported 6.5 million COVID infections, while Australia, with 40 per cent of the population, has less than 50,000. Uh, and 132 in the UK of these cases have been amongst those with disability, and in Australia it is 250 cases. So again, using Order. alarmist Senator information Reynolds, from overseas is irresponsible and expired. In Senator Hughes, a final supplementary question. Order. You finished? You finished? Order on my left. Senator Hughes. Mr. President. Having secured my gorgeous 12 year olds appointment this morning for his first and second Pfizer shot, thank you for opening it up to all of our 12 plus NDIS participants. So, Minister, why is the acceleration in the vaccine rollout so important to ensuring the delivery of the national plan and Australia's recovery from COVID-19? Senator Reynolds. Uh, thank you very much, Mr President. And that is indeed good news, Senator Hughes. Uh, nationally, we have seen a significant acceleration of the vaccine rollout, now with more than 17.7 million doses being administered. We're vaccinating just under 2 million each week and 1 million in the last three days alone. And there has been a concerted effort across government and the disability sector to communicate the importance of vaccination and to provide information on the over 8,000 uh, channels now available. The rates of NDIS participants, like the national rollout, has accelerated significantly over the last few months. Uh, of NDIS participants, more than 95,000 have been vaccinated since early June. Nearly half of all participants and over 16s have now had one dose. Uh, and pleasingly, vaccination rates for NDIS participants in shared accommodation has tripled, has tripled since the beginning of June, with 68 per cent now having received their first dose. And as Senator Hughes says, uh, all participants over Order. 12 years Senator old Reynolds. are now 